This is a daily news update from Coyote News. A South Dakota church has been vandalized. I'm Madeline Canal, and this is your daily news update for Thursday. During Dakota Day's USD's newspaper, The Volant, wrote an editorial called D-Days is Better Than Hobo Days, which sparked SDSU's newspaper, The Collegian, to write an editorial explaining how Hobo Days is better than Dakota Days. The Collegian started off responding by saying what the Volant said was wrong and corrected them by saying, first of all, Volant editors, you should know it's Hobo Day, sometimes Hobo Week, but never Hobo Days. The article, as discussed, how the Collegian does agree with the Volant on the, how they create a new mascot for one week when they are the Jackrabbits and how it criticizes its classic mockery of homelessness. However, the article did go back to criticizing the Volant and their editorial by discussing how they believe some of their events are cooler than USD's. They also explained traditions and school spirit. The article did end by saying, please join us next year for the 111th Hobo Day. According to a Facebook post from the Harding County Sheriff's Office, at around 8.30 p.m., Sheriff Wyatt Sabo received information that the lights to the Riva Church were on. Police discovered many items had been stolen from the town's Catholic Church. According to the police, thieves took almost every Thing from the church with items being 60 to 70 years old. The Facebook post received many updates including information about the tabernacle being found and a potential timeline of when everything was stolen. The church was closed with everything in it on October 21st and the, by October 29th the church was empty. Sabo says in the Facebook post if you were the one who stole the items, drop them back off at the church. No questions are asked as you will have to answer to a higher than, higher up than me. That is all for today's daily news update. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Have a great rest of your day.